um, as an American who spent so much time in China, um, I, mean, I, I still fundamentally go back to this idea that I don't really think that our cultures understand each other as well as they need to, given the importance of the relationship. What would you say, um, one or two misunderstandings or things that we don't quite get about each other, since you've been on both sides of that line for so long? Um, I can uh, speak a little bit about uh, where I think Americans don't quite get China. Um, and I want to go back to the uh, opening Olympic ceremony. Um, I think that the, the collective nature of that ceremony gave Americans a false impression of the collective nature of Chinese society. Uh, and I think a, a really good counterpoint, actually, is in the art that lines these walls. Um, my takeaway from, from living in China for 10 plus years over the course of 30 years was that Chinese society increasingly is a very individualistic society. Um, in my office, for example, almost everybody wanted to be the boss. Um, in the offices of many foreign companies, many, of them, many people want to be the boss. And the individual and the individualistic quality of the people there is something that is a very profound thing for me. Um, Chinese people who come to the States to go, for example, to business school, and many business schools in America teach on the team method using teams, don't necessarily want to be on the same team as someone from China, because they don't feel that that person has learned teamwork. Um, so from one perspective, I think we uh, misestimate or underestimate their individualism. And the other, from the other perspective, Chinese people always talk about Americans' individualism. In reality, we are a, team, a, a society that works best when we work in, on teams. As, as, and I'm, coming back to the Washington Post in, in Washington, I'm working on a team at all times. And even though I'm allegedly an editor, um, I have to listen to everything that my team members say to me at all times. And if I don't, um, sometimes they even yell at me, which is something that you don't see in China like, that much, um, especially these days. And there, there are two very important uh, misestimations that we have of each other. The Chinese misestimate or, or, or sort of overestimate our individualism, and we underestimate their own. That's fascinating. And that would concur with someone who covers the American military, for instance. It's one of the most efficient organizations in America, and the thing you you spend time with it, you see is that it is based on the ethos of teamwork like no other organization in our government. 